Lent. Four candles are lit for the four Sundays we've had in Lent so far. Remember, Lent started back in, on February 17th. Seems like a long time ago. And it will end April 1st. So you have about 15 more days left to continue to collect clothing for those in need or collect non-perishable food items to bring into our blessing box or to continue to give up whatever you gave up for Lent. Continue to be prayerful and mindful during Lent. Hello, I'm actually here, but it's pretty dark, so you probably can't see me. That's a little creepy. I'm a little afraid of the dark when I'm by myself. The time I'm afraid the most is when I come home at night and there are no lights on and it's dark and I'm by myself, can't see anything. It's a little creepy. So you know what I do? I leave lights on and then I can see. I can see where I'm going. I can see the, my cat and dog. I won't trip over anything. Well, what about at nighttime? Have you ever had to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night or get a drink of water? Well, maybe you do what I do and you have night lights. I have night lights in my bathroom, my hallway, any place I might need to go in the middle of the night so I don't hurt myself because I could stub a toe or hurt my shin. But with my, the lights, I won't have, that won't happen. Maybe I'm outside walking and it's dark. I probably need a flashlight to see where I'm going. I don't want to step in a hole or off a curb and hurt myself. Lights shine so we can see, so we can see everything around us. Lights shine for other people to see as well. Now, when I started, it was pretty dark in here. And then I turned the lights on. Well, in order for this lamp to work, it needs a light bulb, obviously. But it needs to be plugged into the electrical socket or it doesn't work. My night light needs to be plugged in. See, it doesn't work until I plug it in. My flashlight needs batteries. Without batteries, it doesn't work. So we need the, they need to be plugged in. They need to be charged. Well, we kind of live like a lamp too. Sometimes we shine really bright and sometimes not so much. Well, God wants us to be the light of the world and so does Jesus. Jesus wants us to shine our light. Well, what does that mean? Shine your light. We're not lights. We don't shine. Well, it simply means to live your life like Jesus. He was kind. He was considerate. He, he prayed. He helped others. That's what he did his entire life. That's what Jesus expects us to do. And if we do those things, pray, we are kind, we're compassionate, we help, we love our neighbors, then our light shines and other people will see that light shining in us. And we'll see all the good works that we do. And they'll know Jesus is in our heart. Now, in order to do that, we've got to be plugged in and charged just like this lamp. Now, we can't plug ourselves into an electrical socket. That wouldn't be a good thing to do. So how do we stay plugged in to have our light shine all the time? We stay plugged into Jesus every day. We might read the Bible. We will pray every day. And also be kind every day and compassionate. And as you do that, your light will continue to shine. It will continuously charge your light. So we have to be plugged in. Okay. And while we're plugged in, we have to make choices. Are we going to choose to live in the darkness and not do what Jesus wants us to do? Or live in the light and be like Jesus and be kind and compassionate and live our lives in the light with Jesus. If Jesus said, let your light shine before all people so that they may see your good work, show people the light of Jesus through your good works every single day. So let's make the choice to be in the light, to live in the light, the light of Jesus, shine for Jesus. Let's not live in the darkness. Let's say a little prayer. Dear Jesus, help me every day to choose to live in the light. Amen. So let's live in the light. Let's have fun. Let's enjoy living in the light. Shine every day. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.